For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use the tile grid sprite sheets in order to advance through frames of an animation or move an image around the screen. So you can see here, I have a little sort of stylized version of a cassette tape or reel-to-reel -reel tape. And every time I press one of the buttons here, we get an advancement of these little reels going forward. If I tap the other button, they go backwards. And the way I'm doing that is actually I have a single image that has three frames of the animation on it. And each time I press a button, we're just moving this BMP to a different section of the grid. Now these can be big, huge sprite sheets like you find in an old video game, or in this case, just three frames. The way we do this in CircuitPython is I am importing the Adafruit image load. That's one of the key things here. And then when I bring in this bitmap, I'm bringing in this bitmap with the palette, Adafruit image load, load that BMP, it's called realsheet.bmp. And then I set up a tile grid. So tile grid is display, oh, tile grid, the bitmap that we've picked before. I set the width to be three, since I have three images on this single BMP, the height to be one, so I can only scan sort of horizontally through an image. And then I set the width dimension, so it's 128 pixels for the little window that we want to look into. The full image is 384, and then the height is 64. And then in my code, every time I press or uh, one of the buttons or the other, I'm just incrementing that value from 0, 1, 2, and that's just picking a sort of map on that sprite sheet. Uh, and so you can see as I hit forward, I'm kind of going right through the sheet, and if I go left, I'm going left through the sheet. And so that is how you can use a sprite sheet with tile grid inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec. <laughs>